this lad took it a bit lightly, so he went and, went and got his hair permed. The boss seen it the next again day and made him wear a balaclava at training until he got his hair cut. He looked like something from the SAS. They might think I'm a pure bandit. There's other words they'd use, I'm sure, but I'm not interested. takes over for Aberdeen. He's taken out of his stride as he went forward. I think a team mirrors its manager. They've never gone in for players who are nasty. There are times when they've got to stand up and be counted in a physical sense. But at the end of the day, there's nothing better for a manager than achieving things the proper way. So ten minutes into the first half and a free kick in a very dangerous situation for Aberdeen. Willie Miller to take it. Breaks almost to the feet of Billy Stark. The challenge came from Derek Johnston. Still Aberdeen keep the pressure on. During the year in which we won the European Cup Winners' Cup, we played 60 games and didn't have a player suspended. Johnston picking up the loose ball again, releasing Weir on the left. In a time when there's much talk about behaviour, I was disappointed that the SAV didn't recognise the lad's achievement. And it goes again, and Frank McDougall with a header, and Aberdeen are ahead. as a manager, I'll always be rosy for him because he's a man that wants to learn all the time. No matter where he goes, if he goes to a bad club, he'll make them good. If he goes to a good club, he'll make them great. That's not to say that he'll leave Aberdeen. I don't know if he'll want to leave Aberdeen. I've got a sneaking feeling that he wants to win the European Cup here before he does anything else in his future as a manager. Uh, the squad he's got, the determination he's got, he'll do it. Winning the big trophies has given me a great sense of satisfaction and justified all the late night trips to Glasgow and wherever to watch matches. Just as satisfying is the satisfaction of seeing people like Teddy Scott enjoying a bit of success. People have served the club for 40 years. His future potential, I mean, that's unlimited, really. I mean, he, he could do anything, I think, that he puts his mind to. Um, I don't know, really. It's, the sky's the limit, I think. He can handle players. He's good at man management. He's good on the tactical side. He's good with the press. So I think uh, whatever he wants to turn his hand to, whatever job 
he thinks will suit him better in the future, I'm sure he'll do very well. It's very difficult at his age to make up your mind, particularly when you have a family. But I think that he will eventually go overseas and develop something in some of the, as we call the European games. But it would be a tremendous loss to Scotland if he did that. I will say all the same, he's got to have the day-to-day -day involvement. He's got to have involved, being involved with players all the time, daily. So I may be crossing bridges here before they appear, but I still think that Alec Ferguson and Aberdeen are very lucky to have each other.